Okay, let's do this problem. This is in your packet, and it says, please verify the slope of a sewer lateral which runs between the house and the sewer main near the street. The building is located 65 feet from the sewer main. The crown elevation of the 12 inch diameter sewer main at the street is 893 feet. The invert elevation of the sewer lateral as it exits the basement wall of the building is 896 feet. Confirm that the actual slope of the sewer lateral is greater than the required minimum 2% slope. Show your work and be careful with units. So I'm going to switch to my paper that I have in front of me right now. Let's see if I can enlarge this. And the first thing we need to do is kind of uh, take the information that's in this paragraph and put it down here on our uh, sheet of paper. So uh, the first thing is it tells us is the building is located 65 feet from the sewer main. So the sewer main is the center of the main pipe right here to the house. So I'm just going to put down 65 feet right here. The crown elevation of the 12 inch diameter sewer main at the street is 893 feet. So the crown elevation is right here. So I'm going to just write 893 feet right there. The invert elevation and don't forget the invert elevation just means the bottom of the pipe is uh where it comes out the basement wall is 896 feet so i'm going to write 896 feet over here now wants us to confirm that the actual slope of the sewer lateral is greater than the required minimum two percent slope show all work and be careful with units so let's write down the formula here first for calculating uh, the slope. So it's going to be the inverse INV elevation minus the crown elevation plus one half of the outside diameter of the pipe. And that's going to be divided by the distance we are from where the pipe exits the house to the center of our sewer main, which in this case, it's told us is 65 feet. So I'm just going to put down uh, 65 feet here. And then you need to multiply all of that times 100 to get the slope percentage. All right, so let's plug in some numbers. Our inverse elevation is going to be 896 feet. Minus the crown elevation, which is 893. plus one half of the uh, 12 inch times, this is going to be one over 12, inches per close parentheses, and draw the line there. Now we're going to bring down our 65 feet for our distance, and multiply that times 100. Okay, so now we're going to take all of this and put it into our calculators. 
And when we put all of this into our calculators, we're going to end up, and I'm going to just go to the uh, online calculator that I use here. Here we go. This is the formula, 896 minus 893 plus one half of the 12 inch times one over 12 uh, for converting from inches to feet. Divided by 65 times 100, and we are going to end up with a percentage of slope of 5.38 degrees. So I'll bring it back to the, to the camera. So you just write 5.38 5 degrees, which is greater than the 2. So that's greater than 2% slope. So this is verified. Okay. So you're going to have to do this now with the other problem that we have in here. This is the classwork problem. That's right here. That's in the package also. So you're going to have to set up that same formula. Pretty simple to do. This is a slope formula that you've used a lot in your math classes already. And once you've got, uh, got this worked out, you're going to make sure you put your name on this and you're going to turn this in.